Hey, welcome to my channel, everyone. This is Living to Learn. I hope that you will enjoy today's video and what I have to share. Again, everything that I share on here is with the intention to, you know, help people, help those of you that are watching. And so thank you for taking the time to tune in. Also want to start out by lo um, pointing out, sorry, pointing out a couple of things uh, in the description of this video that I would like you to uh, to know about. So number one is in the description of the video, you'll you'll find my TikTok and Instagram handle at live to learn coaching. You can follow me there for more content. You can also communicate with me um, either on either of those. If you have questions or you just uh, for whatever reason, uh, go ahead and reach out to me. Send me a message. The other thing you'll find in the description of the video is three opportunities to donate financially to this channel. Now, that's not something that I heavily emphasize, but it does help because, as I've mentioned before, this takes time. This takes uh, commitment. This takes uh, a lot of work, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> it does take a lot of work. And so that helps out a lot. And thank you once again for those of you that have previously donated to my channel financially. Really appreciate it. But I appreciate all of your, your help and all of your support. All of you, every single person watching this. And again, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That really helps me out a lot. That is what I emphasize heavily because that to me is the ultimate support. Knowing that somebody has actually taken the time to subscribe so that they get notifications and they know they want to know that means that somebody wants to know when I am uploading a new video because they enjoy what I'm putting out there and yeah it's kind of the point right <laughs> if nobody liked what I was putting out then you know nobody'd be watching but uh, thank you for to, to my supporters so sorry for the long intro it has been a crazy it's been a crazy last couple of weeks really a lot of changes I mentioned this in my last video a lot of adjustments a lot of different things going on a lot of stuff happening and uh, actually right now, if the lighting's bad, it's not because I'm recording at night, although it feels like it, it's because we're in SoCal, we're actually getting hit by a hurricane. Hurricane Hillary, I mean, who, who would have guessed it, right? <laughs> Southern California and hurricanes, they don't, <laughs> you never hear that in a sentence. But here it comes. And so uh, today's video, I, I wanna teach you, right? And it's kind of like my, this is kind of my segue into what I'm gonna talk about today about teaching you, again, from my experience, I am not the know-all, end-all, be-all, but I do have some, I do have something to offer. So I wanna offer it to you, I wanna teach you how to navigate unexpected situations. And I, I feel like the hurricane thing is, is a perfect intro into that because again, we're in Southern California, we don't know nothing about hurricanes, man. We, we know nothing about hurricanes, we don't, that's that's something that happens in Florida. That's something that happens in the you know in the Caribbean and in those areas. Even like you know some of the islands off of Texas. And if I'm missing some other places, forgive me. And uh, you know, shout out to those individuals because they got to deal with this all the time. And we're not even going to get really like especially where I live. We're not really going to get hit directly. But it's something that we just never. It doesn't happen. I think the last time it happened out here in L.A. in the L.A. area was back in the 30s. So, I mean, this is just something we're not we're not used to. And speaking of which, unexpected situations. I want to teach you I want to teach us how to navigate these things. So, the first thing we got to understand is the nature of unexpected situations. What is the nature of them? Well, it, it kind of speaks for itself, right? You, when you're not expecting something, it's un, it happens unexpectedly, right? So what is that? I mean, that's any situation, anything that catches us off guard. Now, we see a lot of stuff on social media. There's a lot of great information coming from some very, very intelligent individuals talking about creating this like, you know, bulletproof persona where you nothing is going to affect you and you are just in a zone and you're in this space where no matter what happens, you will not be thrown off course. You will not be caught off guard. And I, I think that's a great thing to pursue. I, I am all for that. However, when it comes to the mind, when it comes to our nervous system, when it comes to all the things that make us human, it's kind of like outer space. 
there's a lot of things we know, but there's a whole lot of other things that we don't know. Every person's different. At the end of the day, we're human. Okay. So what? How does this impact? What is what? How do unexpected situations impact us, and how should we navigate? Well, first of all, they can have a depending on what it is. It can have an immensely. Uh, it can, it, I'm sorry. It can have an immense impact on our lives and on our emotional well-being. Okay. Depending on what it is, it could be something small. My car broke down. The, you know, a couple of days ago, I was leaving work. Car was acting up. Called my mechanic. Shout out to Pierre. He's one of my best friends. I'm I'm blessed to have. Hey, you know, you got a good mechanic, man. That that's a especially if you don't know anything about cars like myself. I don't know how to work on cars. I don't I don't know much. I've learned a lot just watching him. But anyway, mechanic comes. He comes to check it out. Hey, man, you you're not gonna be able to drive this thing for a couple of days. So there it is. Okay. Now I got now you know we got schedules here. I've got kids. Like how am I gonna get to to and from work right figure that out okay again unexpected unexpected and then there are things that are much more serious you know the loss of a loved one out of nowhere loss of a job loss of an opportunity I remember having and uh, I was interviewed for a position and I had had about three interviews the last interview she had they asked me for references. Typically, if you know anything about the about the job interview process, whenever you get asked for references, that typically means they're going to make you an offer. And so I was expecting to get an offer on the next call. Instead, on that next call, I got a an explanation as to why they were no longer going to hire for my position. Um, obviously, if I was interviewing for that job, I needed it, right? I, I was looking for it, and so that uh, that was tough. There are things that are much worse than that. But unexpected situations, what does this have in common, and how do we get around this? Here's the thing. One, we can embrace uncertainty. Okay, that's the first thing we have to do. The first thing we have to do is we have to embrace uncertainty. We have to understand, and we have to just acknowledge However we, how, however we do this, it could be a morning thing, it could be a daily thing. We have to acknowledge the fact that there is most likely, maybe it won't happen, but there's always a good chance that something unexpected, something uncertain is going to take place today or maybe tomorrow. Now, here's what I mean. The difference between embracing it and being worried about it. There's two differences here because when we're worried and we're, we're just plagued by anxiety about what could happen, okay, that's not, that's, that's a terrible place to be mentally and that's not going to do any good for us. But instead, with the realization that, hey, there's some things out there that are just not in my control. They're not in my control. What do I do with this? Now, I'm an advocate for lifelong learning. My channel is called Living to Learn because that's exactly what I'm attempting to do. I'm attempting to learn as I live, as I continue on this earth. I don't know how much time I have. But one of the great things about personal growth and resilience is those things are in our control. And I've, ref I've referenced this book before by Viktor Frankl, Man's Search for Meaning, his, his experiences in the concentration camps, the horrors, the, the, the disgusting environment that, that he was thrust into, forced into, the dehumanizing treatment. And at the end, his conclusion is this. There was a lot of things that I couldn't control, but there was one thing I could control that, that, that could never be taken from me. And that was my response to what was happening to me. See, when we decide that we're going to embrace uncertainty, we decide and it's not going to be easy. It's not going to feel good. But we are deciding that no matter what happens, I am going to take something from this experience and I'm going to utilize it to make myself better. And I'm going to utilize it to become more resilient. And I'm not going to let it destroy me. And I'm not going to let it ruin me from expecting good things in the future. And that is how 
we navigate the unexpected because you can't guess when it's going to happen. You don't know when it's going to take place. So you've got to grab the reins right away. Hey, any uncertainty in my life today, whatever's coming my way, I'm grabbing it. And I'm going to take hold of it. And I refuse to let it tear me down. No, I'm going to benefit from it. I'm going to figure out a way. So anyway, that's my video for today. I hope it's helpful. I hope it made sense. I hope you liked it. Share it. Comment. Let me know if you want me to cover something else. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And have a great day.